So we've got another new toy. This is the Pi MIDI, and this is a MIDI hat for the Raspberry Pi. So you can see if you sort of look underneath here or around here, there's a, there's a Raspberry Pi in here, and it's got this device connected to the GPIO pins on top. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to um, plug in MIDI devices to the Raspberry Pi, and it's also got some other audio inputs and outputs that, that help with MIDI functionality. So if we take a quick look round, we've got a MIDI DIN here. This is a MIDI input, so you can plug in your MIDI devices for playback. You've got a, an audio output, so two RCA jacks here. Um, this is a, a new DAC and, and much cleaner than the, the audio out that you normally get from a Raspberry Pi. You've got an audio input, a jack there. You've got a what looks like a USB port, but this is actually a an I.O. port specially ready for connection to the MISTER. So you can use this, for example, with MT32, Roland MT32 playback. And then you've got a couple of wheels and buttons. So you've got some buttons here to change various features. You've got a rotary dial on top here. This is for volume. And you've got another jog wheel here. Lastly, we've got a display. So you can view equalizers and you can view some selection options as you're using it. Let's get this hooked up and try it out. Okay, so we're connected. We've got a DOS gaming PC hooked up by the MIDI input here. We've got our audio output running off to our audio capture. We're not using the audio input here. Um, this is useful if you want to mix in, say, the sound coming out of your, your gaming PC, the Sound Blaster sound, then you can get MIDI and your regular sound mixed together. Um, let's turn it on. Okay, powering up. MT32 Pi. So this is the MIDI synthesizer software that we've got installed on the Raspberry Pi. This is what we're going to use to play back the MIDI data that's pumped in through the MIDI port here. Okay, let's try out some of the features. So first I'm gonna go for this button on the left. I'll click that, and you can see that instructs the MT32 Pi to switch into sound font mode. So in this mode it can play back sound font compatible general MIDI um, using the Fluid Synth software. So this is useful for some of the newer DOS games um, that use general MIDI or maybe even have dedicated sound canvas support. If I click this again, you can see it's running MT32 mode. So this is the primary feature of the MT32 Pi. This will pe play back Roland MT32 compatible MIDI. And it's really good. I've, I've tried it out in a few games and the, the sound quality is very good. Let's try out some now. Okay, so loading up Monkey Island 2. Wait for that music to kick in.
Okay, let's close that. We'll switch into sound font mode, and this time we'll try another game. Let's try Doom. We can use the rotary dial here to adjust the volume up and down. Let's put it up to 100. And let's start the game. Okay, that's a really great test. I love this little thing. Look forward to trying it out with some more games. I'll do a full showcase. Thanks very much.